Okay, so we're going to actually just follow along here and do the uh, GLFW install. We're just going to get started with OpenGL. I just did a brand new install of Windows on my computer at home here. So, All right, GFW is a library that focuses this tutorial download page. Let's go there. Download page. Good, good, good. So the current version 3.3.4, April 8th, 2021, source package, Windows pre-compiled binaries. Okay, so we want the source package. Uh, contains the complete source code to see make build files, documentation, examples, and test programs. Okay, download that. And scanning for viruses. Okay. And I am just following from learnopengl.com. This is their okay, source package. Tens on extracted, open its contents. So let's go ahead and download and open its contents here. Extract all. That's fine. 387 items, what in the world? I have to put fresh bread in the oven at quarter after, so I'll probably pause the video at that time. At that time. Okay, once you download the search string, okay, interested in the few items, include folder, okay, CMake, okay, download page for CMake, just click on the link, it's right up there, get the software, latest stable, create the latest release, uh, platform, Unis, Windows source, binary distributions, Windows X, installer, tools change, uninstall CMake 3 or 4, whatever, for, okay, so let's just do this. Boom. <laughs> Scanning for viruses. And as soon as you're done, we can do the CMake. Come on. Come on. We know there's no viruses, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. At this point. Alright, I'm just in a weird mood, too. You would be, too, if you reinstalled Windows. <laughs> okay, CMake Wizard set up. Next. Next. Do not add CMake to the system path. Uh, you can add it to the path for all users, that's fine. Uh, next. Okay, install. Yes. Okay, we don't need that. Download CMake anymore. Okay, and once CMake is installed, you can choose to run CMake from the panel and run via the GUI. Okay, copying new files. Um, <coughs> finish. Do I have to find it now? I have to find it here. Well, let's uh, just run it right there. Where is the source code? Okay, so I just had it there. Uh, so we're going to go to Downloads, GLFW, source code. Isn't it right there? Source. Hold on, what does that say? Just the root folder of the downloaded part and then build folder, create a new directory build. And, okay. Uh, CMake requires a source code folder and a destination folder for the binaries. Uh, as the source code, source code folder, we're going to choose the root folder of the downloaded GLFW package. So it looks like users, Joey, desktop, GLFW 3.0.4. So it looks like, let's go back to that. GLFW. I'm just guessing right there. That looks good. Okay. Okay. So it says the source code folder. Uh, we're creating a new directory as a source code folder. We choose the root directory, and for the build folder, we're creating a new directory called build, and then select that directory. Oh. So inside here, let's just create a new directory, new folder. Call it build. Okay. And then inside CMake, where to build the binaries? Browse for build. Build right there. Select folder. Build. Okay, get search, group, defense. So I think you come down here, you go to configure. Um, specify the generator, Visual Studio 2017, 2022. That's the only one. Pretty sure that I don't want to select any others. There's general platform generator, optional tool set. Use default native compilers. Finish. 
selecting Windows SDK version to target Windows, whatever, detecting, looking for thread. Oh, configuring done. Okay. So I think all we do is just hit, uh, once the source is that configure, blah, 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 choose the generator, choose that, see so we'll make the possible build configurations. Click. We can leave them to the default values and click configure again to store the settings. Press configure to update and display the new values in red, That's then press generate to generate selected build files. Generate, generating done. Okay. Uh, we can click Generate, and the resulting project files will be generated in your build folder. In the build folder, the file name GLFW Solution can be found. We can open it with Visual Studio. Okay, so let's go to there. Let's go to Build. Where's that at? Okay, so now we have GLFW Build. It's going to be interesting. It's the first time that I've actually run the uh, Visual Studio Preview. Always uses app to open solution files. That's fine. Yay, here we go. Everybody. Opening solution, it's working on it. <laughs> <coughs> so that's a big, pretty big project with the solution, everything. Projects loaded, ready to use, background, sta background tasks are still running, always ignore, okay, whatever. Um, so in the build folder, okay. Since CMake generated a project file library contains where we can, we can hit the build solution button and the resulting compile library can be found in source debug named glfw3.lib. No, we're, we're using version 3. Once the library is generated, oh, build solution. Wait, debug, let's go to uh, release 64. Okay, build solution. Build started. It's going through it. All right. Seems to be working. That's good. Don't think we need CMake anymore, so we can probably just close that down. Build succeeded. Okay, so now where they were telling us to look is going to be build. Uh, where did they say X64 release all builds zero check anyway. Uh, source debug. Whoops. Source debug. So go back to build. Source. And I selected release. So there's the file. Cool. So that's the file we're looking for. Um, let's take it out. Uh, so cut. Go to documents. We're going to put in a new uh, folder. We're going to call it OpenGL. Okay. We're going to paste that right in there. Paste. Okay. Okay, we find the lib and include folders of the ID compiler and add the content of GLFW's include folder to the ID's include folder. And similarly, add at GLFW3 to the ID's lib folder. This works, but this is not the recommended approach. It's hard to keep track of your library and include files in the installation. Every decompiler is lost in the file. No, 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 Okay, so yeah, basically what we want to do is uh, close that solution. So file, close that solution. Unload that whole solution. Okay, so now we want to create a new project. And empty project, that's fine. Shoop. Okay, so we're going to just call this uh, OpenGL. Uh, solution name, place solution and project in the same directory, that's fine. Uh, create. Okay. So that looks pretty good. Let's just go into here. Okay, so uh, OpenGL. Let's go back to where we were at. And source. Build. GLFW. Okay, so include. We want to take that. Let's look. GLFW. Okay, so let's just take that particular folder. Cut. Go to Documents, Open GL, and paste it right in there. So now we have GLFW slash these things. Okay. So we're going to go over to the Project and Properties. And general properties, all this stuff, we're going to go to all configurations because I don't care. All platforms. Yeah, that's fine. 
These are VC directories executables public include directories right here. So we just want to add a folder. Wait, I forget how to do this. Oh yeah, that's right. It gives you a little thing. Okay, so documents, OpenGL, select. And so now we can get include files from that directory. Library directories, whoop, shooby doop. Same thing. Browse. Okay, it's OpenGL. Shoop. Shoop. Okay, hopefully that works. General input. Do I do anything with the? Oh, yeah, additional dependencies. So, what we're going to do is go into the additional dependencies and we're going to add. Uh, what was it called again? GLFW, no, GLFW3.lib. That's what we're adding as an additional dependency, GLFW3.lib. Okay, very good. You can hit enter, hit OK. So it has everything else apply. Okay, so now we can actually create a source file that uses, uh, so we can go release, we can even go 64, since, it's con since I just um, added to all um, Configurations. Okay, first it's open Visual Studio, create a new project, choose that. Linking in order to use GF and link the library to our project. We just did that. Mm, excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, so it's just walking you through what I just did. Okay. Okay, linker tab selecting input. Adding it in. OpenGL32.lib. Oh, that's right, we need to don't forget that. Oops, so let's go back to properties. Additional dependencies, OpenGL32. OpenGL32.live. That's a part of Windows. And I think he even says that in the text here. If you're on Windows, the OpenGL library, OpenGL32.live, comes with Microsoft FTK, which is installed by default in your software studio. Since this tutorial uses the VS compiler and is on Windows, we add OpenGL32 live to the Windows settings. Okay. Talks about Linux. Okay, glad. Okay. We're still not quite there yet since this is, since there's one other thing we still need to do OpenGL standard specification. Okay. The code looks complex. Glad. Popular. Setting up glad. Okay. Open source library. Glad. Uses a web service. So you go to the web service. Make sure to set the language to C in the API section. So let's go here real quick. Uh, select an OpenGL version of at least 3.3. Also, make sure the profile is set to core and that the generate a loader option is ticked. Ignore the extensions for now and click generate. So language C++, specification OpenGL, core, core, uh, API GL, uh, version 4.6 is the latest one. Ex ignore extensions. Generate a loader is ticked and generate. So then it allows you to download the stuff. You just want the zip. Glad zip. Okay, so then we go back to downloads. Glad is here and we just extract all to glad. That's fine. Now we have include where we take. See the include, we have glad and kr, which I'm just going to, um, I think we have yeah, glad.c, so let's copy that into documents, OpenGL. We will be using o, uh, the glad.c and including that in our projects, and I'll show you that because I'm probably going to draw a window with the first project here. Okay, glad, let's go back to that, let's use the include, let's grab both of those, whoops, Grab both of those and cut. Go to Documents, OpenGL, go to here, and just paste them right in there. So now they're in there, so I think that'll work. Glad.h, glad, glad.h, okay. So, whoops, close that down. Okay, go to the web service, glad, but now you should have printed a zip file, single glad, copy both folders into your include directory, or add an extra item pointing to these folders and add the glad c project to your file to your project. After the previous steps, you should be able to add the following include directive above your file. Include glad glad slash slash h. 
Hitting the compile button shouldn't give you any errors, at which point we're going to go for the next tutorial, where we'll discuss how you can use GLFW and Glad to configure an OpenGL context in the Spawner window. And that's where we're going to just jump to. Okay, let's see if you can get GLFW up and running. First, create a CPP file. Add the following includes the top of your newly created file. We're just going to skip through here. It talks about what all this stuff does, which is really cool. Viewport, ready your engines, frame buffer size frame or ready your engines. One last thing, double buffer, GFW terminate, blah blah blah. Check the full source code here. So we're just gonna go in here and copy everything. Okay, it's not very big. It really is not very big. Uh, I'll hit OK on that. So source files, add new item. We're going to add a visual C++ code, C++ file, source, add. Okay, go into here, paste it. So we have GLAD, GLFW, IO stream. Okay, and then we have all this stuff going through here. Uh, let's just save. Let's compile and see if it works. One fail. Continue run this as well. Build. No. Unresolved external GLAD. Oh, GLAD, right. So, duh. Add existing. This is where you go into your documents, OpenGL, and you add glad.c into there. Now we'll recompile. And all of a sudden it works, spawns the window. There we are. We can move it around the screen so you can see it a little bit better on the recording. And that, my friends, is the basic setup. We're going to call that part one, just because I have to go put bread in the oven in a few minutes. But I have about 38 minutes after I put the bread in the oven so I can make another video because I'm still setting up my own system um, after reinstalling Windows. Grr, grumble, grumble, Microsoft. I hate them. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> All right. Uh, just give me a few minutes.